somewhere down the line, we lost the connections. When we were kids, it was different. We'd speak our minds, voice our wishes, weep freely with the pain and laugh deeply at the ridiculous without a thought of who was watching or listening. But then something changed. An adolescence robbed us. Or maybe it's darker forces that fill us up with fear and make us so self-conscious. I don't want it. Because all I get is a version of you and all you get is a version of me. The one I think is acceptable or that you want to see. I want the connections. Like the days of old. I want the tears you'd weep so easily and the words that flowed from the places within you that you've slowly shut away and cover them for me. Let's start over again. I want the you, like when you've had a drink. Not when you're pissed, because that's just ugliness. But when you've loosened up a bit, not so concerned what people think. I don't want the polite you, the one that's learnt to keep the peace. I want the warrior inside you. I want to see the beast that breathes through your instincts when self-awareness leaves you. For those moments, for those snapshots of the truer you. Like when you get lost reading books or watching movies. When you let yourself dream and promise, this time I'll do it. Well, let's do it, but let's talk about it first. Talk deep into the night and let the night drink our thirst. Let's dream together. I mean the ridiculous stuff. Let's write down what's stopping us and then rip the pages up and find connections. I want your thoughts on the weather. I want the storms inside you that breed dissatisfaction and shake you right through. That tell you deep down that there's got to be more. I want that voice inside you that tells you there's more. Don't want your small talk. I want the screams you scream in the darkness when you can't sleep and you're struggling to breathe because life didn't turn out how you thought it would. And those well laid plans now don't taste so good but life fails in your mouth, breeding bitterness and pain. Give me your pain. Let's not run from it, but bring it out into the day. And those questions, you know, the ones you're too scared to voice, you know, the ones about suffering and how life disappoints. Come on, let's be brave. Let's ask them together. Let's face those things we're too scared to discover. And maybe we'll uncover something deeper in each other. And somehow that might help us recover what we lost and find connections tell me the shame the regret the thoughts that rule you that sink deep into your past and maim and taunt you the things you'd never dare mention for fear of the rejection the things that haunt you about you trust me I've got them too please try not to judge me I'll try not to judge you tell me your stories tell me how you got those scars not just the ones that mark your skin but the ones deep within and tell me who gave them to you was it hate or love when you're staring into distances who are you thinking of tell me your greatest stories tell me all your adventures tell me your traveling tales and when life felt tremendous or the first time you felt tiny in this world so huge when all you wanted was to find someone to hold on to and tell them how it feels to be you just you when I'm here and I'm listening and I'm ready for it all, just give me your all and you can have mine too. You know, the other day on Brixton Hill, which is where I live, there was this low hanging mist. Like the streets were drunk on the sky's fallen kisses. In the half light, in the street light, the people looked like shadows floating through clouds. All spirit, no flesh, just figures and breath. We're far too deep to miss each other, to cover up our glory. We're eternal beings. Let's write never-ending stories and fill them full with connections. 
Somewhere down the line they've gone, but we can get them back together. I swear it, man. Come on. Thanks. Thanks so much. You're, you're awesome.